And we'll certainly keep a close eye on any further developments there in Ukraine. Let's bring things back here at home. We know the province of Ontario will be, will be just released new projections on COVID-19. Now, this latest modeling data comes at a critical time as the province deals with the sixth wave of infections. For the latest, Dr. Peter Uni, Professor of Epidemiology and Medicine at the University of Toronto, as well as the Scientific Director of Ontario's COVID-19 Science Advisory Table, joins me now. Dr. Uni, good to see you again. Good to see you. Let's talk about these key findings here. Uh, new modeling, just a month uh, since the last set of modeling was showing, and I know wastewater data was a big component of this. Um, what is the modeling telling us now? I think what the first thing is really just to uh, realize how difficult it is for my colleagues right now to do these models because we lack uh, some information mm -hmm. and things are highly dynamic right now. So what we're seeing is um, that it's relatively likely that this wave, especially if we had peaked in wastewater, we're not sure yet whether that's true, whether this is just, you know, temporary and we go up again. But in, in case we have peaked, then this wave will have a lower hospital occupancy than the last wave, which would be excellent news. And uh, there is even more uncertainty regarding ICU admissions. And I'm personally relatively so uh, feel relatively confident that we also will be considerably lower with our ICU occupancy. But again, what is important, we have a lot of uncertainty for various reasons right now, including that we can't really pinpoint how much immunity we have in the province through infections. Have 4.5 million infections happened since December 1st, or is it rather 6 million? This makes a tremendous difference. So if you can't pinpoint yet the level of immunity, and you mentioned there as you were speaking, um, answering my question here, there's still some data that you're missing that would give you a more clear picture. Are we, is that part of, we're not doing enough testing and, and we're not able to track things properly? Look, it's difficult in this situation. We need to be aware of PCR tests. If we were to roll them out again as they were, you know, we would need a lot of tests right now, you know, mm -hmm. above the 60,000 that we recently had. Um, this is not sustainable longer term in any case. So wastewater gives us a lot of information. But for instance, what we don't know is the age groups that are actually infected, of course, you know, and if we have a situation like what probably happened in Kingston, where it's pre predominantly younger people who got infected and it perhaps doesn't spill over that much to our elderly age groups, this makes a difference. So there, there are challenges, we need to deal with it, and we just need to accept we have uncertainty. A lot of the uncertainty is also just because of the first time during this pandemic, the natural immunity in inverted commas through infection mm -hmm. is part of herd immunity that we develop temporarily, not permanently, and that makes things also difficult to gauge. Do we have a sense of what the province's positivity, test positivity rate is? Yeah, well, we, of course, again, we don't have that, mm. um, you know, for the for the population. But what we're seeing right now is that uh, there are early signs that test positivity is cresting too. I hope that's real. I didn't have time yet today to update mm -hmm. again. That would go into the right direction as the wastewater. Fingers crossed, you know, five, six days from now, we will be much more confident regarding wastewater as well. So what is the uh, recommendation then, Dr. Uni, moving forward? What are the best things that the province's, province needs to be doing? Is there anything that needs to be added in that, in those measures? <laughs> I think right now, you know, what, what was really important from my perspective, and can't tell you whether it was enough, was that there was a strong recommendation to mask up again. I was mm -hmm. very uh, positively, uh, you know, as, as surprised or pleased that this happened. It depends now on all of us a bit. If we take this seriously and if there are people in addition, you know, just saying, OK, just for a few weeks, I help the system now a bit by, you know, working from home. If it's not a big deal for me to work from home and if people are a bit selective with crowded indoor places as well, all of that helps. We also show in this modeling deck, you know, that our uh, infection rate in healthcare workers is again the same as at the peak of the Omicron wave, it would be great to bring that down because this will help us decrease the burden on our healthcare system again. What about in schools, Dr. Uni, as we are seeing from what the schools are now reporting, we are seeing quite a few cases. This is absolutely true. Again, you know, there, I find it, you know, a challenging situation. I would, schools from my perspective are really, you know, a vulnerable place to be also because students, of course, spend a lot indoors with others. 
uh, not part of their family or perhaps their regular social network all the time. So to have at least strong recommendations in schools to mask up right now would make sense. We're just talking of, uh, about a few weeks, especially mm -hmm. if this peak in wastewater is actually real and not just a fluke. What are you watching for now, uh, Dr. Union? When you mentioned the masking in schools, we know a number of school boards are already putting letters out really yeah. strongly recommending saying we'd like the kids to be masked. Um, but what are you keeping a very close eye on now? Um, I, I think the behavior is difficult to understand, you know, how many people mask, but that would be really important to keep messaging please uh, mask up. Be careful right now, you know, with Easter, that's important. We will continue to uh, really closely analyze wastewater. Right now we get data every 12 hours or so to make sure that what we're seeing is actually real right now. Uh, and, uh, and you know, if we, if we really just are a little bit lucky, the weather gets good, people are a bit careful over oh, at uh, the holidays, this would all help together with masks, especially, you know, schools, workplaces, etc. If in doubt, mask up. Indeed. Dr. Peter Uni, it's always a pleasure. Professor of Epidemiology and Medicine at the University of Toronto, as well as the Scientific Director of Ontario's COVID-19 Science Table Advisory, at least for the next few weeks, Doctor. Um, thank you so much for this. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.